How's it going guys? So in this week's Phantom Cave review, we're going to be having a look at Giant Size Phantom number 17. And I hope you have been enjoying these last, well, I hope you have been enjoying since I have came back from my um, two weeks off. So let's get into this comic. It's 228 pages of absolute awesomeness and let's get into it. So the cover and back covers, which we'll have a look later is done by Glenn Lubston. The first story that we're going to be having a look at is the Phantom first gold key issue, The Game. So The Game is basically a re... It's like a reworking of a 1940s, 50s or 30s uh, Phantom story done by Lee Falk. Uh, the artist is Bill Legnant. I think I said his name wrong, but anyways. Um, the story is basically this guy, the Phantom basically saves old mate here from basically getting killed by a lion. Um, and basically it's, oh, it's, um, it's a game where you have all these certain challenges. You have like five or six challenges and... Each of those challenges, they get harder as they progress. So, yeah, it's um, it's a good story. It's a good story, but many people have read it and many people sometimes, when they a reprint comes out, they're a bit sick of it, so sometimes they skip it. So, yeah. So, the Phantom escapes the palace and our mate also escapes... They go their separate ways. The palace guards or the palace people, uh, Ragon's people, send out requests for the Phantom to come and get their, come in basically um, to his challenge, basically. And Diana gets cab kidnapped. The Phantom comes. He then takes upon himself to complete all these challenges and... Yeah, it's the first challenge is I think what I can tell on this is the tigers. So as I did say, you've got five or six challenges. They get harder as each one goes on and it's you need endurance, you need um, smartness and you need to be wary of what you're going to be doing. Um, so I think the... Second one is crocodiles. Um, you have to get past a man eating crocodile pool of crocodiles, I guess. Um, and eventually, after we see the next couple of challenges, the third one being two hawks, the fourth one being um, a knight, and with no, you wouldn't have no weapons when you're doing this knight business and then the fifth one or the sixth one was a avalanche and so fires and then avalanche um yeah it's a good story and then finally the phantom gets away from the challenges he rescues diana and basically puts hostage he basically puts out the hostage of the takes hostage of the prince or the king or something like that and he the prince would then learn his a lesson on why this game has is not going to go on anymore so yeah as i said good story yeah, it's a sad, good story. Um, so, Phantom Commando comic. In the Phantom Commando comic, we have this guy. Uh, he's rapidly losing uh, fuel, and he crashes into open ocean. Tiny and Julie. Tiny then meets Julie, which Julie is then... Um, the Phantom Commando's sort of girlfriend, I guess. Um, and Tiny and Julie go on and the Phantom Commando is then seized and basically um, 
is captured by the Germans. Germans think, oh, we've got something good here. We've got something good here, and I think we'll be able to do something with it. So we finally meet, we finally get to the point where we have a island which is taken upon in, so the, originally the island in this story was inhabited by um, tribe people, so like tribe people. So then the Germans, they come and put them in like a camp or something and now the Germans are taking control of that island. So then Julie and Tiny, um, they dress up as Germans, they then take control and by that stage, most of the Germans, the German army in this camp are pretty much, they're either doing something or they're, they're gone, basically. And so Tiny then takes the Phantom Commando to a spot, like a, um, a secret spot or something, like a, um, a big sort of room or something like that. And by then, Phantom Commando is basically in, basically in a fight for his life against the Germans. He obviously survives. They take control, um, and he basically bombs the island. And at the end, we have. At the end, the Phantom Commando, the Germans think we've got them, we've got them where we want them, and then the Phantom Commando basically bombs them. And to finish this story off, I'm just going to basically say what the key moments of this story was. So we had the Phantom Commando, he was losing, rapidly losing fuel and... He was rapidly losing fuel. He gets picked up by the Germ a German sub. Tiny and Julie come to the rescue. They then save the Phantom Commando. And by the Phantom Commando, they then um, save the island and make sure the Germans are off that island. And, yeah, basically, this Phantom Commando, it takes off World War II. Yeah, it's, it's basically taken off World War II. Uh, so we have the Phantom Messenger Bag. And if you haven't received a Phantom Messenger Bag or if you're wanting to know what the classiest Phantom Messenger Bag is, you can get it for $60, including shipping, only in Australia. And you can get it. Visit the Phantom online shop at www dot phantomcomic.com.au or you can phone 02926181822 and I've actually got this it's very cool very very neat to have so the third story we have is planet man planet man his big um so basically what happens in this story I'm just going to do a low down on what happens in each story. We'll take it to the halfway through the story. So basically what happens in this story is basically the um, Planet Man's operational hub of... is Basically, Planet Man's operational hub, the big spacey um, cruiser thingo is out in space. It then gets pulled in by the Earth's gravity. It then go. It then is... Oh, <sighs> so the third story we have is Planet Man. So what happens in Planet Man, his little space hub of where he like gathers information and um, does what he needs to do to save the world, um, falls out of the sky, lands in a big desert. Two guys come along and they see it. They then make a um, they then make a replica of the plane. They go on a big mission to basically do, 
basically ruin Planet Man's name and all that sort of stuff. They rob a bank. Uh, Planet Man nearly gets um, named for it, basically, by the Space Patrol. Planet Man then goes and destroys them and basically gets his... He gets his name right and gets his name back and all that sort of stuff. So the second thing that happens in Planet Man is... So Planet Man is right now chasing a lone sort of guy that's been doing bad stuff. Um, we have this guy in it as well. That guy, we mysteriously do not see his face, which is miracle miracle because we don't see his face either in the comic we don't see it and we still wonder who it is because at the end of the comic he then nearly gets sidetracked and um then leads the planet man so there's a bit of a show off against planet man and the mysterious person so there's a mysterious person He's taken control of Planet Man by using one of his um, laser things and then Planet Man basically puts a message off to um, his sidekick, I think, basically, and then he destroys him. The mysterious person is getting away. Um, the sidekick then tries to stop him the mysterious person basically punches old mate in the chin and Planet Man is then on a chase and the mysterious person leads Planet Man to their base, which is where we lead. And Planet Man then destroys everyone. He then... That is basically the end of the story. So the mysterious guy, he basically leads Planet Man to where we are at where the base is at and then Planet Man from then on destroys him. And that is basically it. So yeah, and so if you've got any of these comics, Glenn Ford, Glenn Ford, few publications, they only need to scan them. So Wanted, Green Skeleton, issues one to four, Planet Man issue two, Cruiseman Comet issue two to nine, Planet Commando issue two. So if you've got any of those, if you know someone that has one of them or many of them, you can contact Glenn on 02926182819. Uh, let me do that again. So you can contact Glenn at 02926182819. If you have any of these comics. The next story is Catman and Kit, the Phantom Mummy. So basically what happens in this story is basically the professor has discovered one of um, Catman's many um, friends. The professor has basically discovered a mummy. So a mummy in a new mummy in Egypt so that's pretty cool so he has discovered a mummy called Tuckman like the King Tuckman and that also that also reminds me of um, when they discovered King Tuck no King that yeah that famous pharaoh that everyone talks about and yeah it's, it's let me try and remember it. I can't remember it. Um, Tat, Tat Kuman. I can't remember it. Sorry about that. Um, so we'll head on with the story. This guy plays a mage, a big play, a big role in this story. Watch out for him. Um, they discover this mummy. They notice that there's a lot of jewels. Um, and also with the mummy, it has some sort of curse. And oh, I, I, love, I love that panel right there. So cool. Um, when you've got the mummy and um, the side, uh, the professor's helper on like lane just like that. And it's so cool. 
Um, so then the professor's helper disappears mysteriously. And Cap he then calls Catman to try and help him figure out what's happened. So then Catman, he goes there, he finds out what he needs to find out. Um, he gets ambushed, basically. He's down there for a while, he's unconscious, and the mummy nearly, well, the so-called mummy is nearly getting away. He then nearly he gets the raiders to basically, um, the raiders which are sheltering from the heat because it's in Egypt, it's hot, it's heat, it's extortion. Um, and basically he, so the mummy nearly gets away. We all know what happens. The raiders are trying to get their fair share. Um, Catman gets away. He fall, He gets wakes up from his con, conscious, unconscious mo mood, and he then destroys the raiders. He goes on uh, the journey to find out who this mummy is, where he has come from, and who he is. Um, so the mummy then leads him on a little bit of a goose chase. The mummy then gets what's coming to him, and Catman saves the day. And who would have been, who would have been, well, it was the professor's helper. Who could have not have guessed that? Who could have not have guessed that? So the next story we have is the shadow. So the shadow, it's basically saying that this, this one has a very, very big role in this one. Very big role in this one. And... Basically, her father gets died. Her father passes away um, by these gangsters. They come into the room. They shoot he, her father, and then they disappear. Where have they gone? Who have they got? What have they got from that father? What have they got? So then the daughter then calls upon the shadow. The shadow then discovers that... There's a city, an ancient city, where there's basically an ancient city and these people, these gangsters, think that they can have all they want, all their fortune answered, and we get to find out that that's not actually the case. And the Shadow actually goes on this adventure. He nearly dies because of this guy and teaches him a lesson in the meantime. And... We move on, he nearly dies, the shadow nearly dies. When they get to the ancient um, relics of thing, he nearly, well, when we actually get to the ancient bits, the, um, when we get to the ancient bits, so shadow and the um, daughter nearly get killed by giant spiders, which is what this all this island is about. It's about giant spiders and the mysterious surroundings of those spiders. And the shadow then saves them. He goes over the relic wall. He finds out that the daughter's father wasn't as he seemed. The daughter's father didn't seem like he was a great guy. He wasn't a great guy. He was a crime lord, and he was basically um, he was basically waiting for a chance. So he had discovered this city of massive proportions. He hides his fortune, or these blank cards, these crime um, cards, and he hides them away. And his daughter doesn't even know that that. They exist, firstly. And so the way the daughter finds out is that the shadow actually finds them and the jewel is actually inserted into the um, creature's mouth and they find out. So cool. So, so a very good ending to this. And then what happens, one of the guys that was trying to get enriched in um, fortune, he gets eaten by a giant spider. How good is that? 
not good for him, no, but good story. I liked it. Okay, let me just say this. Sir Falcon, the store is few uploading it right now. Let me tell you. It may be illustrated by the legendary um, King Kikafla. It may be illustrated by him, but how I, the thing I can't understand is this. What do you call this? Like, I know this may be controversial. I said this the last review we had of this sort of artwork. It just it looks very um, rushed. It looks very rushed. Like, the story is on point, but the art doesn't compete with the story. I just... I can't understand why few publications, yes, I know they've been doing a great job over the last couple of years, but for this art to come out, now I know I know this is old art, may have been from the 40s, 50s or 60s, but still, but still, I just, I can't understand why the art is, it looks so rushed. It, I don't understand it. I don't understand but the, the story is basically a sultan's daughter basically gets um, uh, they the, the sultan basically thinks that her daughter is well her granddaughter is basically lost in a plane wreckage so then the sir falcon then thinks no wait hang on a sec there's there's no um, there's no there's something fishy going on here um, so Sir Falcon then goes to the Sultan. He tells that her granddaughter is still there, is still alive. And Sir Falcon then escapes the palace. The Sultan then comes around. His visor is actually the one, the perpetrator that actually is doing this to Sir Falcon and the Sultan. And finally, if only, if only the artwork had competed against the story, please. If only if that had happened, we would be having sitting on a great story here, mates. But, you know, it's how it is. The Sultan then finds his granddaughter and by the looks of things, it's all sweet, it's all good, it's happy ending. Yeah. Then the next story we have is the Phantom Ranger. One of my absolute favorite characters since this series has started. So this person has a big role. That person and this person, same person. And she's a bit naive. I'm telling you that right now. So the Phantom Ranger, he basically says, oh, well, I am basically warning you. There's Indians or Indian people because this is based in Wild West Town, um, I'm basically warning you that there's Indians over the next couple of ridges or hills or rock valleys and you're basically going to, you're basically going to be in trouble. So that is what happens. The family is then, the family's daughter who is naive about them getting attacked by Indians gets kidnapped or taken hostage from the Indians, the Phantom Ranger then does the same thing as in Ragon's game. He has to do all these challenges. He completes all those challenges. Nearly, He then has to nearly marry himself with the daughter. He does not do that. And we all end in peaceful. Yes. But the ch some of the challenges, this... Oh, some of the challenges that they put on these stories, pretty sometimes gruesome, but sometimes very interesting. Yeah. Okay, so we have another ad. So if you have not picked up The Phantom 18, issue 1895 in full colour, it is out now. You can either get it while stocks last at... Um, at um, any news agency across the uh, across Australia. Hopefully, there's still people out there and news agencies out there. I know I get my that's where I get my Phantom comics from. 
um, most of them anyway, um, or you can go to www.phantomcomic.com.au to get this comic because there's like four or five stories and it's all in colour. It's good. Uh, the next story we have is a raven, one of my favourite stories, one of my favourite characters, the man from the unknown. Okay, this story, the judge doesn't believe the professor's telling the truth. The professor is stating that there are these magical, these mysterious beings coming from the world of Venus. Yes, we. it's all about aliens, aliens, mysterious. The judge then sends the professor to jail. The raven then rescues the professor. The professor then makes contact with the aliens. The aliens then say to the professor that your planet is a truthful, is a great planet, and we will be in touch. The professor and Raven's court and Raven, the Raven's court nearly gets bombed by a um, British intelligence um, plane headed by, you know who, Bloodstone. Yep, the guy that doesn't like Raven. And so the professor then talks to alien UFO people from Venus, ironically, Venus, why? But, yeah, um, so the professor then makes uh, contact with the alien. Raven's Courts nearly gets blown into smithereens, but then Blogstone sees some sort of mysterious UFO, some mysterious aircraft, and calls it off. And then does it look like that Blogstone actually likes the Raven? I don't think so. It maybe think so, but we'll have to see in Raven number 11. And the last story we have for you today is the Panther Shark Island, is what it's called. In this story, just quickly to run this off, is the, fan, uh, the, the Panther's uh, friend actually comes to visit the Panther when doing so. A woman gets kidnapped by thugs that is then believed and the panther is then in contact with his friend. Him and his friend find out that him and the panther basically find out what's going on. Um, they go to this island. They save the woman that had been kidnapped or hostaged and the panther, the woman... Um, Mr. Big Blint, all go, no, oh, wait, hang on a sec. So, so basically, um, Blit, the woman and the panther, they don't have a great evening. They don't have a great, what would you call it? Um, they nearly die of starvation. They nearly die of exhaustion. And then they say crew, um, they say a cruise liner, and the cruise liner basically saves them. Good. So we have this amazing art done by, I think, John Dip. Oh, no, Scott Dutton. So we have that amazing art to show you. We have this back front cover done by Glenn Lubston. So if you would like to subscribe to the Phantom Cave Reviews YouTube channel, you can do so down below. You can click that subscriber button. As always, keep Phantom Caving, and we'll see you next time with a lot more on the Phantom and the best Phantom content in the world. See you, and we'll see you next time.